Hi folks, it's Nick here. Today we're looking at a, a piratey type seafaring game. It's booty on the ZX Spectrum, where back in a time when the word booty meant something else, not something you shake about to twerk with. But anyway, I like that C graphic, that's quite good. This is on the ZX Spectrum uh, 48K, published by Firebird back in 1984. Also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Uh, the music playing is the hornpipe, which does get a bit repetitive and drives you insane after a while. But it's a rather fun uh, platform game where you control Jim the cabin boy. He must collect uh, booty from around the ship. Uh, by collecting keys and unlocking doors and jumping on levels and going up and down ladders. You know the sort of idea. Now all the way through he must avoid patrolling pirates. I'm that blue chap up the top there. There's uh, crawling rats about as well and a parrot that flies at random round the ship so you must avoid him. Now once all the booty is collected, which I probably aren't going to do, Jim has 45 seconds to find the key to the next pile of booty. Now You'll see those green lines going down, they are in fact doors, and you'll see a small number above each one of them as well, as I die. By collecting the right key you can go through the right doors, it's all a question of doing everything in the right order. Now the hornpipe playing, and um, the first game I played with loop music like this was Jet Set Willy that worked quite well. It's one of those things where as a kid you play it over and over and the music won't affect you, but any adults around it will drive them mental. Right, so there's patrolling pirates here. You have to collect the right key to open the right door. Uh, you see um, these green doors, and there's a blue door as well. Go through there to find other bits of the ship. But it's a massive ship. I uh, never completed this game. Big surprise. Jim the cabin boy. Arr. Jim lad. And other things that pirates never said anyway. So there's a bit of booty behind this door, so we need key five. And we're going to die here, are we? Yep. So it's a bit unforgiving, the slightest knock and you're dead. There's no sort of, um, when you lose all your life, there's no sort of end over sequence, it just loops back to the start straight away. But as games go, it isn't too bad. It's well thought out, it's nice graphically. Colour bleed, um, not really. A nice priority theme here. Um, I've also reviewed Worst Things Happen at Sea, where you control a robot that also plays the hornpipe music at the start, I believe. It would be nice to get off this first screen, wouldn't it? There we go, I think we're going to do it. Through here, right. So there's another bit of the ship. Oh, I don't know why that... Yes, bit of a, bit of a, a bug there. I wasn't expecting that to disappear. Not quite sure what that sword does. Now, one thing I never understood it on this game, sometimes when you collect something, it turns into a bomb and explodes and kills you. Oh, there's the ship's parrot. Yeah, we can't walk off the screen. We're dead here. Yeah, see, see what I mean? Lost all my lives and it just goes back to this bit again. All for John F. Kane, was that? Yeah, Kane. 1984. This is back in a day where one person can co code the complete game. That would never happen nowadays. So I suppose what you did, you wrote a game, you sent it off to the publishers, in this case Firebird, and Kane got it published in 1984. I don't know what the Amstrad CPC version looks like, or the Commodore 64. There was a sort of um, sequel to this that used the same engine called Moon something. Moonstrike? I don't know. I have to look that up again. Comment below if you know. I probably do know, but I just haven't got it written on any of my notes here. Was there ever a cabin boy called Jim? I just want to find all the rum. Where's all the rum gone? That might be a bomb there. Now hopefully I can find the um, screen where it isn't too much looking like this, like moving ledges and stuff and the background's black and it makes you feel like you're going somewhere. More loot collected. Oops, see why did I die there? I don't know. Oh there we go, that's the bit I wanted, right. So we're maybe at the bottom of the ship, booty collected four. Treasure 182121. Let's get on this. It reminds you a bit of turmoil, that bit. Right, here we go. It's another one of those games where a map of the ship probably would help. But there's lots of pirates, all with funny haircuts. Well, that's that quite animated quite well. Obviously influenced by the original Manic Miner, I think, all of these. Oh, there's a the parrot again. 
It's all about finding the correct timings, but I love 8-bit games, and this one would have to go down as a classic. Not quite sure how well it's sold, but uh, it's good. Diddly -diddly 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 -diddly. I don't know what the ship's parrot's called. Bernard or... Fernando. Something cool. I don't know where this pirate ship's going. It might still be in dock, of all I know. Oh, the music stopped momentarily to rest our eardrums, but it's probably going to start again any second now. There it goes. <laughs> Have you completed this game? Let us know. Show off your talents. Oh, I'm going to die here. Right. So I'm not making too much progress, am I, really? I've just noticed my lives is represented by the bottom left there, that yellow man. Is it? Maybe it isn't. boo doo 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 I don't know how many Spectrum games I've reviewed so far, but it must be nearing 150. And that sounds astonishing. How did that happen? Well, there's about 24,000 games, so we're still not near the end. Try and mix it up a bit. Do some Spectrum games, some Amiga. Game Boy Advance, I like that as well. But, oh, see, that turned into a bomb. Why did that turn into a bomb? I do not know. So, well thought out this. Gym lad. Right, that's key number seven I've got. Where's door number seven? I've never known a pirate ship to have so many doors. Why? Did the Black Pearl have lots of doors? I don't think so. It's pretty much open plan, wasn't it? So that's... Uh, uh, why has that turned into a bomb? Quite addictive, this game, though. Let's, let's, just have, let's just have one more go, maybe. See if we can make any distance or find anywhere new. So, got quite a high amount of replay value. Yeah, bottom right is your lives left. Look, so I've got three there. There's a maximum amount of keys you hold. I mean, sometimes... See, I've got key four now, but sometimes they disappear and reappear. So, see, comment below. Why did that turn into a bomb? Is this something I'm not understanding? Maybe that's a random thing. Now, that's annoying. That's one floor of the game. Right, what we got now? We got... Key two, where's door two? Oh, let's, let's just go off to the right again. Let's try and find that room I had before with the moving ledges, see if we can do anything decent in there. And uh, we'll call that a success if we do that, hey. That was pirate talk. When is National Pirate Day? Where everyone has to talk like a pirate, but don't, because they probably got a job where they have to talk on the phone like me. They'll probably get me sacked with in the morning. Pieces of eight. Du -du -du -du. This is a game that could do with a remake, I think. In the recent Q&A, I s they got asked a question saying, um, what Spectrum game would I like to have remade on next-gen consoles? There's a rat down the bottom there with a big black rectangle around him. That, quite, that hasn't quite worked, has it? Anyway. Yeah, and I said, Attic Attack, I wouldn't mind getting this, this remade. I wish there was a, an option to turn that music off. It does get a bit annoying. Oh! Last Life. Fun and annoying at the same time. Watch out for um, rats with big black rectangles round them. You won't find that in any other game outside ZX Spectrum Land. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to avoid colour bleed. I think in that instance, colour bleed would have been a bit better. Once well, again, it's a black background, okay, but as soon as you game past other objects, it fails miserably. But I, I probably have to give this a 7.5 out of 10, but I don't really score a game, so I won't. But that's why I would do if I had to. There are worse games to play. Is that going to turn into a bomb? I can't remember. Let's just walk for... Yeah, it has, <laughs> yeah, it has done. Duh. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that piratey seafaring game on the ZX Spectrum 48K. That was Booty by a Firebird. Thanks for watching that, and uh, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.